Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the 2014 version of the Razer Naga MMO mouse. We'll start with the shape and design. It fits well in the hand, although there is no exact placement spot for the thumb due to the 12 mechanical key buttons. The ring and pinky finger on the other hand do have a place to rest thanks to the adequately shaped protrusion and rubber grip found on the other side. It comes with a black braided cable and logo at the end of the cable for easier identification when you have to pull out of the PC. As far as weight, the Razer Naga comes in at a hefty 135 grams. This model does not offer the convenience of adjustable weights. This feature might be missed by some considering that the mouse is on the heavier side. You can flip around the mouse to find high quality Teflon mouse feet that contribute to that ultra smooth glide that I felt on most surfaces. While on the bottom, you can also notice that there is a 8200 DPI 4G laser sensor that can be used on most surfaces within an office environment or at home, with the exception of glass. There are a total of 19 buttons that can be programmed to your liking, 7 of them on top and the 12 mechanical ones that you find on the thumb side. These are organized in a concave manner to make it easier to find, although if you have large hands you might find yourself pressing more than one at a time. My suggestion would be to program only the ones that you can easily reach to avoid any misclicks while in the middle of a heated PvP. As far as the feel of these 12 buttons, it's easy to see why they are the highlight of the Razer Naga. All 12 come outfitted with mechanical switches similar to those that you find in high-end keyboards and offer great tactile feedback as well as that familiar mechanical click. On the top of the mouse you will find the left and right buttons. These are very responsive and have adequate feedback. The scroll wheel left me wishing that it had more tactile feedback and behind that are two more programmable buttons that are easy to reach but suffer from the same lack of feedback as the scroll wheel. In the lighting customization department, the Naga left some to be desired, not giving us many options in color or in lighting. The logo in the middle has a breathing effect, but as far as the scroll wheel and the keypads, it's just an on and off option. Using the Razer Synapse software, you can detect all of your Razer peripherals. In the Naga's case, you start off in the customization tab where you can make custom key profiles for different games or software using the image on the side to easily map any number of actions to any key on the mouse. Next you have the performance tab which allows you to customize the DPI and acceleration options to your personal preference. In the lighting tab you can turn on and off the LEDs. The next tab allows you to calibrate the laser to your desk surface or mouse pad to offer greater precision. In the macros tab, using the 32-bit processor within the mouse makes recording macros for your favorite MMO a breeze. Finally, there's a stats tab that brings up the RZ stats software. This keeps track of several different enumerations such as mouse clicks, wheel rotation, and even how many feet your mouse has traveled per game. So quickly recapping the Razer Naga, it has a very comfortable shape. 12 very tactile and programmable mechanical side buttons and an easy to use software to aid in the programming of said buttons. Just keep in mind there is not much customization available when it comes to the LED lighting and if you have large fingers you might find yourself tapping more than one button at a time. All in all, at $80 the Razer Naga is a great MMO gaming mouse option for those looking for precision and custom programmability. So what do you guys think? Please comment below and let me know. Also, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech reviews. Thanks for watching and see you next time.